Chapter on If a woman has no veil to use for Eid Narrated Ayyub, Hafsa bin Tisirin, said On Eid, we used to forbid our girls to go out for Salatul Eid, Eid prayer. A lady came and stayed at the palace of Bani Khalif, and I went to her. She said, The husband of my sister took part in twelve holy battles along with the Prophet, peace be upon him, and my sister was with her husband in six of them. My sister said that they used to nurse the sick and treat the wounded. Once she asked, O Allah's Messenger, if a woman has no veal, is there any harm if she does not come out on Eid day? The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Her companion should let her share her veal with her, and the woman should participate in the good deeds and in the religious gatherings of the believers. Hafsa added, When Umm Atiyah came, I went to her and asked her, Did you hear anything about such and such a thing? Umm Atiyah said, Yes, let my father be sacrificed for the Prophet, peace be upon him. And whenever she mentioned the name of the Prophet, peace be upon him, she always used to say, Let my father be sacrificed for him. He said, Virgin mature girls staying often screened. Or said, Mature girls and virgins staying often screened. Ayub is not sure as to which was the word used. And menstruating women should come out on the Eid day. But the menstruating women should keep away from the musalla, and all the women should participate in the good deeds and in the religious gatherings of the believers. Hafsa said, On that I said to Umm Atiyah, Also those who are menstruating? Umm Atiyah replied, Yes, do they not present themselves at Arafat and elsewhere? <laughs>